Hello Internet in this crash course we will learn how to create a complex scoring online payment system. So let's make a preview. First thing to do is to log into the app. We log in, we can log in and register, but I have already created a user. So let's log in with the current user. When logging, you will fall on this dashboard. This dashboard will list all payment data are done. So before start, you will go to the settings panel and create a new school year. Let's add a new school year. Let's click on add year and we will add the school year and we need to, to, to active a school year. And when you active a school year, all operation is about the only school year, the selected school year. Now, if you go to dashboard, it will be empty. So you can save some level. So let's click here and save a new level. And each level have its individual price. We need to specify the price of each level. So let's say that we for the fourth level, the price will be 3000. Let's click on add and we see that the level is at. Now let's go to classroom and add a new classroom. By default, I save only one classroom. And for save a classroom, you need to enter the classroom the label. I don't know if you are in, in the state, but in the, I think that some country use the CRAD. And if when you add a class, a classroom, it goes here and you can click on the edit part to edit the classroom. You can edit it as you want. And when you hit the edit the update button, it says that the classroom is updated. Next thing you can update and you can register a new user or update a new user. Let's add a new user. A new student, a new student. Let's take the multiple of this one and pass it and add the last name and add the first name, add the birth and the sex. Let's say that's a man, a woman. And let's click on, let's change the matricule. So no, let's click on add. The matricule have already been taken. The validation is working well and Let's add this match code and click on add. When click on add, it, say, it will say that the student is created. And you can click on edit to edit the information of the student if you have made some error. So let's take it and click on update. And we will say that the student is updated. When the student is updated, the next thing to do is to register the student with this save student in a classroom so click on new registration and enter the matricule of a student by entering the matricule the, the full name will automatic full fill and you can choose the level and the classroom of this of a student for the come for the active years when click on confirm registration, you are redirected to registration page and you see that the registration is done successfully. Next thing, you can make some payment. Let's go back to the dashboard and click on new payment. When you are on new payment, you can enter the matricule and the student full name field will be autocomplete. And here you can type the amount that the student want to pay. So if the amount exceeds the level amount, you will see that we get this error. So let's enter the correct amount. And now the button appear again. So now we we'll click on confirm and the payment is saved and we come back to the dashboard. Let's add a new payment. And let's say that we add 1000. And the payment will be saved and come back here. And here we get the school year 2022-2023.